This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. The footage you will see in this video is from software that is not final and is subject to change before release. Hi guys, Richie Bob here and in this video as part of my The Sims 4 Cottage Living Early Access videos I'm going to be doing a tour of the new world which is called Henford on Bagley. This is it here. So let's go in. It's absolutely stunning world, really, really beautiful. As you can see, the art is really nice. We've got three different neighborhood areas. This one is the Bramblewood. The natural beauty of these woods have long provided a picturesque place for many wild birds, rabbits and foxes to call home. Whether secreting a small surprise under Sophie the snail, and I find that word sounds so strange i want to say secreting but it is secreting and it does mean to hide trust me i've done some research bringing an easel to paint the serene cordelia falls foraging for wild mushrooms or finding romance among the ruins on the isle of volp any sim would be transformed by a day in the bramblewood so this consists of cordelia's secret cottage here We've also got this lot here, which is occupied, this lot here, which is occupied. And what I'm going to do is just quickly move my sim into this house down here so we can properly take a look and visit some areas in the map. Okay, so this, this residence here is the Moody and Macmillan residence. Then here we've got the thir number 13 Nettle Lane. This is a rental. And then over here we've got the Isle of Vault Park. So let's take a look at each of these places and areas. Let's head over to Cordelia's Secret Cottage first of all. Wow, this is really beautiful. So this is Cordelia's Secret Cottage, not so secret anymore. It's got a chicken coop and an animal shed here. And then this is her little house. No one lives here. Okay. Beautiful little cottage in the woods. Standard, love it. Right by the waterfalls, lots of them. Got a little picnic area over here, set up with a bin and a light. And lots of beautiful areas to explore. If we come down a little bit, this was the next house on the map. So let's visit this residence. So this is another residence here. This one is occupied. Look at the cars. <gasps> We've got a Land Rover and like a Mini. Oh, oh, is it a Fiat? I don't know. It's really cute. Oh, wow. Oh, this is definitely a hint, surely. We've got a little fountain outside with a bench, beautiful garden area, chicken coop out back, picnic area, seating, barbecue, maybe we can go in this one. Oh, lovely. Wow. Stunning inside as well. And that's... Upstairs, this guy lives here, Ian Moody. Oh, I love these drapes over the windows. Stunning. Okay, this is a beautiful house. Love it. What else is here? There's this house just a little bit further down from them. Okay, this is the next house down. This is beautiful as well. Oh, I love I love these on the on the roof. Again, it's got a nice long driveway. No car in the drive this time. Maybe they're not in. Not able to click on this one. It looks stunning. Just through that little sunroom area is quite amazing. This is what it looks like all the way around. I love it. These houses are so spot on. Anyway, I won't give too much away because I want to leave some things for you guys to explore. 
But over here we have a lovely little seating area. How pretty is this? With the lights and the seating, that's so stunning. You come and watch over the river. This river, by the way, that runs through Henford on Bagley is swimmable in certain areas. I'll keep clicking and checking, but it is a swimmable river. You'll see some sims like getting out in their swimming costumes, so that will give it away. And then if we go over here, this is where we have the ruins and the whole forest area. So let's head to that area now. So we've just done those three houses down there. That was the ruins in the middle. And then over here is the Isle of Thorpe Park. This is like the area that you want to come to if you want to get wild animals like the rabbits and the birds in particular. This is where you're going to need to come because this is where they will spawn the most and you can find their homes. So the tree stumps are what you're looking for. So small fat tree stumps are for the rabbits and the tall thinner ones are for the birds. When we see some I'll show you. This is the snail maze. It's inspired by the snail maze at Redwood Shores where they make the sims. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. I have been lucky enough to see that snail maze in person and I actually think this one's nicer. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> this is a swimmable area so let's go and swim. And here's one of the tree stumps. This is a rabbit tree stump. You can tap on it and try to lure out the rabbits but there's no rabbits in there right now. Because the rabbit's right here. How cute. So, so cute. And you can just chat to them and give them clothes. You know, normal rabbit stuff. <laughs> she's got a swimming costume on. She's off swimming. There we go. It's kind of obvious it's a swimmable area because it comes up like it's not met by rocks. So your sim can easily get in there. You can swim right up to the waterfall and up here and wherever you choose to go within that area. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Okay, anyway, on with the tour. We'll let her do what she does. But over here, this is from the other lot. Got a little seating area right by the falls. And that was the original lot we went to first. But over this side of the river, we've got a snail maze. No real purpose to the snail maze. Although you can see Sims walking in it, you can walk to it. You can come and take a selfie with Sophie the snail and you can search. I don't know what happens when you search. Let's see. I've got some more cows over here. Come on now. Come on. And then a little gated area to empty you in in National Park styly. Then picnic area as well. Fishing spot with a beautiful pond and some ducks on it there. And this here is one of the bird homes. This is where you would come to socialize with birds. She's still working her way into the middle of the maze in her swimming costume. Oh, she found something. What on earth did she find? A fossil rock. prehistoric rock. Okay. So this is supposed to be heavily inspired by the Cotswolds. Those kind of areas. You definitely get that vibe from it. It's like a Sims version. Also got another little sort of ruiny area over here. Some beautiful items, a little pond and some seating. And a very special hidden kind of lot here which is the Keeper's Cottage. We'll come to that. We'll just look at the birds. Uh huh. Okay, the birds are not really there right now. We've also got the ruins up here, which you can come and just look at. You'll see Sims going up there in their swimming gear. 
taking pictures and just hanging out. But yeah, over here, this is the Creature Keeper's cottage. You can come and look at this and chat to the Keeper and he's going to give you errands like the NPCs in the game do as well, which you'll find mostly over at the Finchwick Square, however it's called, we'll get to that soon. If he's not in or you can't see him anyway, you can just tap focus the camera on him and it will take you to where he is. This is the creature keeper and he's just a special little NPC person who you can meet and get errands and learn about things and exchange your wool for animal clothes and all that kind of thing. He's a good person to know and that's all going on in Bramblewood. So now let's head off and look at the another area, which we will look at this area, Old New Henford, an area that boasts rolling hills, lush estates and a small community garden. Old New Henford is perhaps best known for its historical naming woes. Initially known as Little Henford, the neighbourhood renamed itself New Henford in an attempt to escape its diminutive origins. However, in neglecting to inform national mapmakers, they ceased to officially exist for a two-week period. When told that to be reinstated, they would require yet another name change, residents chose Old New Henford, which beat out the other choice, New New Henford, by a single vote. <laughs> okay. So in this area, this is more of your residentially type area, you've got this big lot here, which you can build on. You've got three old mill lane, again a residential lot. A new start, which which is another residential lot, and the Watson family lot. So let's visit these guys first off. Another beautiful lot here with a cute little truck. You'll see these bombing around. Really cute farming truck. Got a little little shed built there. It's like a derelict farm, it's really cool. Little tractor look, oh my goodness. This is joyous. Lots of little outbuildings. This is great lot, wow. What's this over here? Oh, a mill. Oh my lord, that is cool. Okay, anyway, let's not get swept up. Let's stick where we were. This lot, it's quite big. Quite a large lot. A little climbing frame outside for the kitties. Cute. Chicken cube, animal shed. Beautiful gardens, pond. And we can knock on the door. This is great. Where is she? What are you doing over there? With a piece of clay in your hand. Okay, so here we are. This is their house, the beautiful lot, beautiful outside pergola. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Another kitty there. Okay, so that's that lot. And oh, look at that car. Look, little truck. Look, fun box. You could stop here on your journey. I mean, goodness me. Very cool. Okay, because I don't know which way up I am anymore, I'm going to go back to the map. <laughs> and we'll go to this lot. Okay, this is for Old Mill Lane. Really nice. Much smaller lot, but right by the river. We've got our chicken coop here. Some little garden patches. And you can just come and place things on this garden patch. Knock on the door and have a look in this one. This is cool because they've got like a, the fence goes into the pond. Very cool. Nobody's home. Oh, come on. Never mind. And then over here, kind of leads to another swimmable area there. Got another little shed and gateway 
Oh, I love that. And then over here, we have another large house. We can come to this one. Okay, three old mill then. Fishable pond here. Little garden. Again, you can place things if you want to. That's more set up as a little community garden as well. No one lives here, so can't move. We can't knock on the door. We've got lots. So there's plenty for you to populate and work with. A little animal shed there. Another superb lot. And then you've got your blank lot here. This is the one I'm using in my Let's Play, so you can check that out if you want to see that in more detail. But that's how, you, that's how it starts anyway. And that's the location of it. So okay, now let's check out the final area, which is Finchwick. I'm actually not sure if it's called Finchick. I know they definitely said Finchwick when we spoke to the devs, but in the UK, a lot of the places that have Wick, like Killick and Keswick, with the Wick part usually meaning farm or settlement. You don't pronounce the Wick, so I don't know. Nestled along the river Bagley, the old mill village of Finchwick pr prides itself on its bustling and close-knit community. Its historic square features a pub and, and quaint stalls amid a flowering garden, perfect for little window shopping. Tourists and locals alike flock to the weekly village fair, where Finchwick's mayor makes a special appearance to judge entries and gossip about the latest happenings. So here we've got a pub, the Gnome's Arms. We've got Forrester's Residential Lot and Scott Residential Lot and the Cobblebottom Street Residential Lot. So let's head over... Hmm, actually, mate, save the best to last. We'll start at Cobblebottom. Okay, another very pretty lot. This is all very much more structured. And look how built up this is, it's amazing. I'm not sure about the, the, the placement of the houses. It's very beautiful. This is definitely a gated community, isn't it? But I love it, no one lives here. This is a really nice street lamp and seating areas and all that kind of stuff. Again, that's just a fodder house, lots of fodder houses. And this way, this one, which we can go to as well. How annoying to have a loading screen between each of them. Never mind. Okay, so this is this area. Again, you can do some planting there if you like. This is the Finchwick Square. We'll get to that soon. Very close by. We can knock on this door. So again, some planting areas. <laughs> we can just plant stuff at other people's gardens. Why not? chicken coop out back and there we go another beautiful house I love the colour scheme of this one it's beautiful okay and then oh that baby room is so cute then the next one I think there's another one along yep another one here I've got a bird house here lovely oh that's this is our house so let's go home and yeah this is our house so let's put everything up this is how it looks from the outside planting space this is like you start a home if you don't want to build anything or get anything from the gallery this is the one you'd move into chicken coop it's beautiful and um, lovely gated areas as well the mailbox is very cool and if we go inside, this is how it looks inside, it's beautiful. We've all got similar stuff inside, just using things from the new pack. And this is just a single story, a very tall roof. I love that. And it's situated right across from Finchwick Square, which is this over here. The pub is this building here. Actually, let's let's go in the pub and you can see this before we tour the square. The so square is probably where most things happen. Look at that. That car. 
Come on. She's gonna walk there and then it will take us into a loading screen. She's still got something cost you, Mum. I'm leaving that on for a reason. I'm gonna show you something soon. Okay, so this is the pub. A little um phone box outside. I love it. Then this is one of the NPCs. She's the pub owner. It's got plenty of NPCs in this pack and they've all got good stories, lots of lore, so be sure to uh, interact with them. A little kitchen area, she's lighting the fire, go right ahead. Very Englishy pub. And then a little upstairs bit as well. She's also lighting the fire, why not? And toilets. Seating area, very cosy. And lovely windy path back there, the roof is flowing right through. Fun boxes and we've also got some stalls. So we have a grocery stall and then a more of a gardening stall. These have certain hours of operation but they're really good places to come and get items. You can also have groceries delivered. Plus uh, the Crumple Bottoms run this particular stall. so. Keep an eye out for those. And then on this area here, this grass over here, this is the community board, which you can read all about the fairs and learn about the villagers. So if you look at this, it will tell you who is the mayor, who owns the pub and all that kind of thing. And those things can change. The crumple bottoms won't change. They'll always be there, but other NPCs will age and live out their roles and other Sims will go in their place. So and you'll then lose your relationship progress with them. So say you were best friends with Sarah um, or you were really good friends with the mayor, for example, and bribing them for all kinds of things, but then they die, you would have to start that relationship again with the new mayor to be getting those kind of perks. Plus you can learn all about the Finchwick Fair on this board as well and see what's coming up just by tapping on your calendar. Oh, it's my birthday. This little piece of grass here is where the fair will be and it will spawn in the stalls and all that kind of thing. It's very, very cute and beautiful. Got a little picnic area over here. And when the um, fairs do spawn in, these stalls will have special items as well. So be sure to check those out when that happens. Sure. Then if we look back here, these are just fodder shops as I call them, but you can window shop now, which just means your sim will come and look in the windows. Quite a nice touch. Plus um, on the dress shop here, you can actually change your outfit. That's all I was leaving in a swimming costume for. I just think that's a really nice touch. She's headed over there to window shop, so I guess it does it for all of them. Another little tiny waterfall there with the mill. I love that they put those things in. There are like toilets dotted around as well. Your sim will go to them. There's definitely one in the Bramble Woods. I've seen that and there's one here as well. They're kind of hidden away, but they are there, so don't worry if you go out and your sim needs the toilet. Okay, so that is my world tour of Henford on Bagley. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!